Hello guys, you are welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to be discussing the classification of data types in SQL Server. As we have discussed in our previous video, we discussed about data types and we said data type can be defined as the classification of data in different forms. We have different forms of data such as numbers, we have um, characters, we have dates. You can store different forms of data into your database. But these data are classified into three. We have the numeric data type, we have the character data type, we have the date data type. So we are going to take it one, each one after the other the first one we are taking is the numeric data type. The numeric data type has different types also. <clears throat> the first one is the tiny int. Okay. <clears throat> the second one, we have the small int. The third one, we have the <clears throat> int. Or well, the last one, we have the big int. So these are the types of numeric data type that we have. Okay. So but for better explanation, I would like us to look at the SQL Server node in order to understand this better. If you look at this, you can see data type, the range, the expression, and the storage. Now the first one we want to discuss about is the tiny int the tiny int has a range of what 0 to 255 so definitely this tiny int will only allow the value between the range of 0 to 255 and it must be what numbers that is it must be numeric alone and also tiny int is and unsigned values that is it can only be positive it doesn't allow negative values okay so let's take this into practice and also the storage of tiny int is just what one byte let's take in this into practice and see how tiny int data type works okay so we are going to create a variables. A variables. This is a variable. A variable is where you can store your data type temporarily. Are you with me now? So you can you want to store a data into our age our age variable temporarily. Okay. So now you now said the type of data that you want to have in this variable age this is our age variable should be tiny int data type definitely don't forget we said the range of values that can be allowed in tiny int is range between 0 to 255 so definitely so for example let's say our age is 25 so I'm saving 25 into the age variables so I'm not selecting the age variable by saying select age so it's going to give me the value I have here which is 25 the value I saved into the variable which is what 25 now I'm selecting it if I want this select age statement click on execute Okay, you must declare it. You must run it together with this. So it says 25. 25. Okay. So now let's assume we have a age, someone age of 250, 254. Let's say 254. And now do this. Execute. I have my value, which is 254. So now 
I have another person's age which is 256. If you select this value and execute it, we have an error. Arithmetic overflow error for data type tiny integer value is 256. So that means it is telling us that we must not have a value or a range of value that is more than what 255. Also, we said tiny int must be an unsigned value. That means, that means it must not be negative. It must be positive only. If you now say a minus 3 or minus 4, if you want this statement now, we are going to have an error. Okay. Arithmetic overflow error for data type tiny int because it is what you add negative to it. Why tiny int must not contain negative. So in our next video, we are going to treat the small int, the integer, and the big int. Thank you.